What's up guys, it's Theo here. Welcome to another coding tutorial. Welcome back to Introduction to React.js Part 2. We are on the second to last lesson. We're 75% through the course, so this will be uh, Part 16. So this is on mounting lifecycle methods, so let's begin. So it says lifecycle methods uh, are methods that get called at certain moment, moments in a component's life. You can write a lifecycle method that gets called right before a component renders for the first time. You can write a lifecycle method that gets called right after a component renders every time except for the first time. Um, you can attach lifecycle methods to a lot of different moments in a component's life. This has powerful implications. In this unit, we'll walk through each lifecycle method. Click next to again. Okay, cool. So there are three categories of lifecycle methods. Uh, mounting, updating, and unmounting. This lesson is about the first category, mounting lifecycle methods. A component mounts when it renders for the first time. This is when mounting lifecycle methods get called. There are three mounting lifecycle methods. Component will mount, so it's going to mount. Render, it is mounting, and component did mount. They're already mounted. When a component mounts, uh, it automatically calls these three methods in order. So the first mounting lifecycle method uh, is called component will mount. When a component renders for the first time, component will mount gets called right before. Look at example JS and follow these steps on line 14 through 17. Um, we on the right one. Make sure we're on the right one. Uh, line 14 through 17. Uh, examples rendered for the first time. Okay, example called the first life cycle method component will mount right here. Uh, component will mount executes an alert appears on the screen after component will mount is finished. Example calls the second mounting life cycle method render. Okay, hello world appears on the screen. Two seconds later, example calls uh, component will mount. Okay, uh, or component will mount does not get called. You can call this dot set state from within component will mount. Okay, that makes sense. And look at example two. And uh, for an example, this dot set state inside of component will mount. So here it's just being set, this text, and then it's being rendered out. So select flashy, flashy dot, dot JS. And let's look at what we're going to do. So take a look at the flashy component class. Click run. You should see two alerts. And now for the first time ever, flashy, flashy is rendering. So let's see if these alerts, if we get these. Let's see if this is working for us. Cool. And cool. All right. At the bottom of the file, delete the comments and uncomment the uncommented code. So let's just get rid of that. And then we'll run it. And then it looks like um, after flashy renders, two seconds will pass and flashy will render again in a different color. OK, cool. So let's try that. Cool. Uh, how utterly embarrassing. Flashy alerted and now for the first time ever both times. Second rendering was not the first time ever. Everyone could tell that the second alert was a lie. This, the show was a bust and Flashy received scathing reviews. Flashy needs to alert and now for the first time ever only the f first time that Flashy renders. If you need to do something only the first time that a component renders, then it's probably a job for mount, a mounting lifecycle method. Before the render method, um, give we're going to give uh, flashy a new property called component will mount component will mount just a function and then let me give a comma right there so we can continue on and then we'll set uh, component will mounts value equal to a function okay now highlight the alert that should only happen once cut this alert out okay we're going to cut it out Paste it in component will mount, so now it's only going to render once because the component has already mounted. Uh, you should see, but now only the first time. So let's try this out. You should only see this one time, looks like. Let's make sure this works for us. Okay, and now for the first time ever, flash is rendering. Flash is rendering. Cool. So that seemed to work. And we're done with that section. Let's move on. Uh, render is a lifecycle method. We won't go over render here. We've already talked about it plenty. However, you should understand how render fits into the mounting period. Whenever a component mounts, component will mount. It's called first, followed by render, followed by component did mount. Render belongs to two categories, mounting lifecycle methods and updating lifecycle methods. We'll cover updating lifecycle methods in the next lesson. But first, there's one final mounting lifecycle method. Okay. Uh, okay, so it says the final mounting lifecycle method is called component did mount. When a component renders for the first time, component did mount gets called right after the HTML from render has finished loading. 
Look in the code editor for an example of component did mount. Component did mount gets used a lot. If your React app uses AJAX, asynchronous JavaScript and XML, to fetch initial data from an API application programming interface, then component did mount is the place to make the AJAX call. More generally, component did mount is a good place to connect a Re React app to external applications such as web APIs and JavaScript frameworks. Component did mount is also the place to set timers using set timeout or set interval. If that sounds vague. Don't worry, you'll put some life cycle methods into practice in this course's final project and then more in the next course, not to mention in the real world. So take a look at Flashy.js. Flashy is mostly the same component class from, an early, from earlier, but it has a brand new alert added to its render function on line 13. Uh, okay, so we're going to see these. Let's run this to take a look at what we're going to see. Okay, cool. Cool. Awesome. Uh, Flashy runner. Okay. Uh, flashy alerted. You just witnessed the debut of Flashy both times. The second time was not a debut, and many get storms out in a great huff. You need to alert. You just witnessed the debut only the first time. You can't use component will mount for this because you want your alert to happen right after Flashy renders, not before. It'd be weird to say you just witnessed the debut before it happens. You want something to happen right after the very first rendering. That's exactly what component did mounts for. In between component will mount and render. So right here, uh, we're gonna um, declare a method called component did mount, and this is gonna be a function. I'm gonna give a comma there so it continues on, and uh, it looks like yeah, we're not gonna put it in there yet. And then we're gonna see what happens. Hopefully, this is good to go right here. Okay, okay, and then that works, and then. Um, Okay. Um, inside of the render function, highlight the offending alert, cut this out of the render function, and paste it into the component did mount. So let's put this in here. And let's make sure this runs now. Now it should work. It's all good to go. And we should just see this right after. She's rendering, you just witness that it view flash. Flash is rendering. Okay, cool. So, um, yeah, guys, that's it for this tutorial. Um, this was the mounting lifecycle methods. Up next is updating unmounting lifecycle methods, lifecycle methods that occur when a component updates or unmounts from the DOM. So let's go back. Looks like 85% through, and we have one more lesson to go. So that's it for this tutorial, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think. Always appreciate the feedback, and I'll see you in the next video. Please subscribe. Thanks. Have a great day.